everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. With this recipe, I'm calling for summer and warm temperatures. I will show you today how to make portocalo pita, or Greek traditional orange phyllo cake or pie. Just a look at it reminds you of a bright sun. Look at this beautiful slice of orange dipped in the phyllo dough. And it's drenched with gorgeous orange and cinnamon syrup, which ensures that this cake stays beautifully moist. Greek cuisine is so tasty, and this cake is one of the great parts of it. This recipe you just must try. It simply melts in your mouth. First, what we will do is we will prepare the syrup. It is very important that you pour your cool syrup over the hot cake and that's why we'll prepare it first to give it a time to cool off. Put sugar in the water, add freshly squeezed orange juice, put one cinnamon stick and leave it to boil. After it boils, reduce the fire to minimum and simmer for 10 minutes. That will allow the cinnamon stick to release its lovely flavor. Then take the phyllo dough. Cut it with scissors, knife or just with your hands. The main thing is to divide each sheet and cut it into pieces. And why is that? Because we will put it in the oven to dry. You need to preheat the oven on 100 degrees and put it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and every few minutes shake and divide it with your hands for all pieces of small phyllo dough to dry evenly and become crispy. It shouldn't get brown, just to dry. This recipe calls for orange zest and orange slices with their peels on. So it's very important to wash them thoroughly and leave them in the water solution with vinegar or baking soda. I soak them in both, but separately. This will get rid of the chemicals on the peels, which are toxic to humans. All store-bought citrus fruits have been treated with toxic pesticides and antifungal substances. So keep this in mind, unless you buy certified bio citrus fruits. Take one orange and cut it in thin slices, about 4 to 5 millimeters. I don't like to cut it thinner as we will put the slices over the cake before we put it in the oven, so all the juice from the slices will also enter the cake and make it more flavorful. Take the phyllo dough out of the oven and rub it between your fingers to break them in smaller pieces. Here you can see how big they should be. Then put three whole eggs in one bowl, add in the sugar. I tried once to use brown sugar, but honestly, it was not the same. But then again, it's up to you to adjust the recipe upon your liking. Mix it then until foamy. After the sugar and eggs become nicely incorporated and foamy, put inside the yogurt, oil, vanilla extract, baking powder, orange zest and mix it all well together. Take care while grating the orange, not to grate the white part, the white rind, which is a bit bitter, which is quite unpleasant, so as soon as you see the white part, turn the orange and continue grating the orange part. Now take the crispy phyllo dough, pour it into the batter and mix it well until all the dough pieces are covered with batter. It's quite important to mix it good as otherwise you might find inside the baked version dry pieces of phyllo dough. Prepare the pan, butter and flour it all inside. I was using the clay baking pan that's in my family for years. Dimensions are 32 over 22 centimeters. And all the cakes turn out amazing in it. But you can use whatever pan you have. Put the batter inside, even it nicely, and then place the orange slices all over the surface of the cake. I put six slices as I will cut it in six pieces. If you want to cut smaller pieces of cake, Use a smaller orange or cut orange in halves and put it on the batter so you will double the number of pieces. 
Put it in the preheated oven on 180 degrees and bake for 30 to 40 minutes or until the filling is set and the top is golden. The portocalo pita is finished. Now take the syrup and with a ladle slowly pour the syrup over the surface. Why I'm saying slowly? Because if you pour the syrup fast and suddenly from the pot, you might damage the surface of the cake. Then leave it to soak all the syrup and cool off. Serve it and enjoy! Thank you for watching my video recipe for Porto Calopita and don't forget to like and subscribe and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!